Hi, today's video is a very special one, that's why I'm all in red in order to prevent and protect myself from envy because today's video is very special and you might be thinking, what's so special about it? Well, according to my records, it's my number 100 video. Oh my god, already 100 videos. Wow, let's get into it, shall we? <laughs> So, 100 videos. Wow! What a post goal! It's. I cannot even explain to you how important it is to me. Because the thing is, at many times I didn't thought I would make it this far. And I'm still questioning myself. But the thing is, I created this channel in October 31st, 2020 to help myself with my self-expression issues, to express myself and to fight against multiple in internal demons. And I've been doing it so through videos. First, I had to deal with my fear of being seen and perfectionism. Perfectionism was actually the greatest battle that I had to go through. Uh, the greatest factor in my inconsistency in uploading in the first year it was partly technology, but also my perfectionism. And perfectionism was blocking me so badly. And then it took me a, a humongous amount of time to be in front of the camera, because the first three videos I made them in front of the camera, but the rest I started doing videos in which I would record outside of me with a spy cam. And I, you wouldn't see me, at the very least, if you, would, if you did, it was just a glimpse of me. And even then, I was incredibly insecure when I started doing videos with my face, and I couldn't, I couldn't see myself, I couldn't edit, and I just got to place something on the screen when I was editing, in order to avoid myself from seeing myself. I have also managed to improve so much in my self-expression thanks to this. Both my use of camera, people now I'm much more confident in Zoom calls and things like that, and people say to me, oh it was your first time recording this type of video with this app, and this. yes, but the, things, the thing is I am now much more comfortable with cameras in general, I'm much more comfortable being seen and being in a screen and things like that. It's just like the amount of emotional work it went into this. It wasn't just the work of editing and putting things and uploading things and things like that. That was work. It was a humongous amount of work I did in that. I cannot even explain to you how many hours I have struggled with a computer. I have battled so many times with a computer I cannot even tell you. But the biggest battle, it was with myself. This video is the... It's a milestone in a constant battle against myself. Like any project that it's long and standing and so extended and so prolonged in time. I think you're gonna watch this in May, in early May or late April, this video. But this type of things only happen Early May, most likely early May, yeah. This type of goals and things happen after internal battles. It doesn't really matter what goal you have in life. It will take the greatest battles. They won't be so much outside of you. They're, unless you're a soldier, of course. The biggest battles will be within you. Within you. Against yourself, your insecurities. You yourself will be the, your worst enemy, and every single baby step that even it seems so little. I know people say, oh, people should be acquainted with, because we're in front of cameras the whole time. No, we're not. The vast majority of the population, we're not. So, being seen, especially... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, something came up. So, the thing is, the biggest enemy I had during this hundred videos was perfectionism and uh, 
a self-hatred at one point because not liking how you look to the degree in which you cannot see yourself in the mirror or in a screen it's a bit of a problem but that's exactly why I started this channel to deal with those problems to force myself to deal with those issues because who am I to just allow myself to be that you know that much of a whiz <laughs> I have to put in the work in order to improve those things and issues I have. And the best way to do that is to force myself to improve. And how can you force yourself to improve? Well, you through facing your demons. And whenever you have a long-standing project, especially one in which you are being essentially a loser, just like I am, I mean, come on. At the moment I'm recording this, I have like 68 subscribers. I cannot even make it to a meme. So, if I even if like in uh, there is people who are impulsed by success to battle their demons, but at times you're gonna have to battle the, your demons for the sake of battling your demons. Not because you're gonna get money out of it, not because you're gonna get recognition out of it, but because it is the thing you must do. Because what's the point of just going around life without doing the, the needed work, both internally and emotionally and psychologically? And not being able to look at myself in the mirror or in the screen it's a bit of an issue and not being able to post anything or record anything because I couldn't get myself around. The idea, the concept of just recording anything or just editing anything because it was never perfect enough, that's a big problem. And the thing is, you can only learn it through making mistakes and I can assure you I've made so many mistakes in this hundred videos. But there were mistakes that were needed to be made. In fact, the other day, I was about to, there was a video was uploaded, and I didn't notice I was scratching my nose in one, of, in one section of the video, and I thought I had edited that part out. And I felt so bad about it, I wanted to just take it down. But then it was the only one I got views. I never get views, but whenever it, it is a video, it's the one I want to get down. It's just like... Well, it's kind of out there already. Nine people have watched it, so... Let's just embrace the chaos, you know. Just, mm, what am I going to do now? <laughs> and that's, that's good. That's good. That's always good to, to learn that and to fight that. And to battle those things. And to change those things, you know. It's not the, the video itself, what I need to change is my attitude towards imperfect, towards unpolished, towards my attitude. I have to change my attitude. And whenever you have a very long-standing project, the biggest thing you have to work on is your attitude, your demons and your expectations. And that's, that's exactly why I made this channel for and I'm so proud of myself not because I have achieved anything in YouTube terms I'm not even monetized at least now but let's face it I have grown so much in the past two years and a half already two years and a half I have changed so much. Everything has changed so much. I cannot even begin to tell you that. And that, that, that I have achieved to recall this much, it may seem very little for two years and a half. But to someone like me, with the issues I had to tackle, not just financial, time-wise, emotional-wise, due to depression, just not having the spirit to do anything, technological-wise, but to battle my demons and to just do things that are inherently imperfect and post them anyway out to the public to, to be seen. Such a massive improvement. I cannot even begin to tell you how much, 
how much of a massive improvement that is. And I, I would sincerely recommend anyone to pursue any type of long endeavor that it's not meant to be monetized or it's not a career goal, it's not a monetizable or a monetized hobby. But anything that you have to do long term that will force you out of your little box and it will force you to face your demons, most recommended. It helps you to grow a lot. And like I said in one of my past videos, growing old and wise and with dignity is an active effort. It's not something you just achieve with time. And thankfully God, I have done quite an active effort in the past few years. So yeah, thank you so much for everyone who has been watching and enduring me and my imperfection my face it's just thank you i'm still working on it i'm, I'm only human and i will keep working on things you know there are always things to be improved to the very last day of our lives there, there will always be things to improve upon and i would like to thank you so much everyone for all of your support your kindness and your time it's just thank you you have been here through this journey and I, I would very much like to know what is your long-standing project, a passion project that you just do for the sake of getting yourself out of your bed and do something with your life and your time. Well, until next time, I hope you're doing great and uh, best of luck fighting your demons. Until video 101, bye bye.